Yo guys, arriving shielder is on the menu today among boss located in Dalada Uplands and he has a nice green healing prayer staff, the wing shielder. The boss is very close to Doomlord Shrine, therefore a perfect candidate for 200 solo runs and looking at the builds you may think farming here is easy, Mantid diggers have some sight mastery skills, uh, the Mantid nymphs have illusion magic bar and the Mantid queens have some healing prayers and smiting skills. Nothing too dangerous, but to be honest I could only make one working build and this is not the usual spell prevention or low HP stuff. Generally speaking I tried two ways to defeat the boss, the first was using spell prevention like shadow form and obsidian flash, but the problem with this method was the lack of damage to be able to kill the boss and the huge damage caused by the monsters. If I went shadow form with whirling, the dervishes remove stances with irresistible sweep, plus whirling only do huge damage if a lot of fools are attacking you. Hexing the boss also doesn't really work because of smite hex. When I choose obsidian flash, my damage was not enough due to sliver armor having down times too. So the second way I tried was no spell prevention but focusing on the damage instead. So let's say you try 55 or 105 HP builds, the Mesmers have uh, Crippling Anguish, Conjure Nightmare and Images of Remorse and these three skills cause a total of 22 HP degen, so under normal circumstances you can't survive this, at least with low HP. You can think of uh, using Mystic Regen and Earth Secondary but I doubt you could farm the Mantids like this. So I had to make my character invincible but also keep the HP somewhat high. And finally this is what I made, a 300 HP LA Monk hybrid with permanent sliver armor to provide enough damage to kill the boss and Prod Spirit with Stone Flash Aura to reduce damage to zero. Of course I still had to solve the massive HP degen somehow, so I put Aura of Restoration and LA Lord for that end, also Dervish Heroes with Mystic Healing in case my HP would drop too low. A full run looks like this. You do the Reason trick, leave Doomlord Shrine and use Balthazar Spirit, Ellie Lord and Aura of Restoration. Then run with your hero still the forest, then stop and micro Enduring Harmony, Godspeed, make haste and as many speed boosts as you can and then flag the hero somewhere away from the boss. In case a group or two is in your way, don't be afraid, just run through them and the Mesmers will slow you down but speed boost will help. Hora and his group is close and just maintain Prosperity and Stone Flash Aura through the fight, activate Ebon Battle Standard of Final Reuse Grip of Renewal followed by Sliver Armor and auto attack the boss. Since Sliver is nerfed it will damage a new target every few seconds, but if you keep attacking Horai he will not run away and only one of the dervishes will. It will take some time but finally he will die and in case your HP would be too low, micro mystic healing on your dervish heroes and you can heal yourself like this very easily. This was only one group, only the boss group, but you can try multiple groups too, but keep in mind all the dervishes and monks are melee fighters. The more enemies are around you, the more the damage from sliver will be divided between them. Obviously the more the enemies, the more your firepower is, but I found it faster to only aggro one group at a time. If we want you can aggro the whole forest and farm some anid golds, if you make the melee stack, but the monks have a glimmer of light so it might take some time. Some of my better drops, 7 elite tomes, 15 grain staves, 6 anids, 38 scrolls and 66 no drop runs. These stats put Horai Wing Shielder to the top tier in the elite tome category and it takes him to the middle section in the, in the green drops. By the way, once I get a Q9 Fiery Dragon Sword, not bad actually, and I read on wiki this is not a mantid only thing, the sword may drop randomly from any creature in Dalada plant. So guys this was Horai Wing Shielder, I hope you had fun, give this video a thumbs up if you did, thanks for watching and see you next time.